welcome back to GTU. Connection is what helps us grow, so why not expand on those resources? Author of The Family Flywheel, Erin Shelley, is joining us now to share how we can invest in the concept of social resources. Erin, this is fascinating. So we're taking a business lens and we're looking at the family through it. Will you explain it? Yeah, so if you look at a business, when you want to start a good business, you're going to get people with complementary skills, right? We need talent like you guys to do the hosting. You need these great camera people. You need a studio. All those things, you need these different skill sets. But a lot of times in our life now, it seems like we're getting pushed towards just investing for financial resources. We only want to make money. So if both people in the family are trying to make money, who is taking care of the health of the family? Who's taking care of the connections in the family? Who is taking care of those other aspects that are very important to the family? not just making money. Because we've all seen you can have a lot of money, but if you're alone and your you're spouse hates you and your children, yep. So, so many things also fall in the cracks when it comes to other things in your personal life. So how do we get this overall picture of being successful? Well, to me, success, you need to zoom out because a lot of people have got to a point where success is only defined by the finances. How much money do I have in the bank? But even if you look at great brands like Nike, their brand, it's, not, it's hard to know exactly how much the brand is worth. Is it multi-billion dollar? And, and if we actually see this in financial statements where they say, we're gonna call it goodwill, because we don't understand how much the brand is really worth. But you see this investing that Nike and Apple have done in their brand, in their relationships, that's very important. But in our society, we've kind of backed off and said, well, we're not gonna have as many people investing in this community, doing service in the community. And therefore, you're going to have this issue with people having a, a connected problem. You say that there is a relatable story with Bill Gates and his mother that puts all of this into perspective. Yeah, exactly. So we don't know that we see Bill Gates and we see his success, but his mother, she was a school teacher and she married a lawyer and then she had her children. Then she decided to stop working and just focus on her children. But then as her children got older, then she started to serve in the community. She served on the board of Washington, the school of the University of Washington, and then she served on the board of United Way. Well, United Way, she happened to get connected to the CEO of IBM, who was one of the people that Bill Gates connected with, who could have, you know, I don't know what that relationship, it's hard to unwind everything, but that could have accounted for 50 or $100 billion. So this is the place where those social connections are very difficult to think about and value, and she invested in those connections in her community rather than going back and being a school teacher. So the family was actually much better off because the dad was doing the lawyer stuff, she was doing the social connection, but the family actually had massive wealth buildup because they were diversi diversifying what they were investing in. You're talking a lot about intangible. So how do you convince people to say networking and these resources, you just don't know what could happen and lead to success in your personal and your financial life. Sure, but if you look at marketing and PR, it's the exact same argument. How much should we spend on marketing? How much should we spend on PR? Is it worth doing this advertising, going on the radio, newspaper? All those things have the exact same argument of, well, we don't know what it's gonna turn out to. And that's where it's been interesting in my life. I've got two of the jobs. My last one that I got, which we took a company from 20 people to 180 in about three years, was, a connection from my church that I was going to. So you look at this going, I couldn't have known in advance that I should have talked to this guy and should have been nice and should have developed that network. However, if I hadn't paid attention to it, I would have, I would have not had those opportunities. Missed Ugh. opportunities, right? Missed. Well, and that's one thing, one big thing I think when people move, you don't realize I'm going, I'm moving for more money, but I'm leaving all of my social resources. And you'll often find when people move, they feel disconnected, they have mental health problems, they're like, I feel alone, because they've disconnected all those social resources that they had in their local community, hmm. and now they've moved. So that's where I say these social connections, especially with COVID, when everyone's like, I'm gonna work from home. Great, you've just weakened your social connections even more. So I'm not saying you shouldn't work for money, we all have to have it. But if you just have money and you don't have those social connections and the human resources, you're going to be rich and alone and sick. Wow, you are giving us such a new perspective to examine these different areas of life. I'm pretty fascinated right now. So the book breaks down money, tools, property, individual group, reputation, abilities, time, and health. Where do we find the book? So you find the book, it's on Amazon. I have a website, thefamilyflywheel.com, where you can also go to find additional resources. 
Um, if you'd like, you can email me at Aaron, dot, or Aaron at thefamilyflywheel.com. My goal is to help families be stronger. I think that families are the pillars of our society. It's like the Coliseum. We can knock out a few pillars and it'll be okay. But once we knock out too many, we're going to have our whole society collapse. So that's my goal. just scratched the surface on this guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. Okay. Hop online, follow along, get the book. We will be doing that. Thank you so much. So nice to have you here. GTU is back right after this.